I was going through my notebooks and my journals from years past. And right now I'm looking at the time period, the few months after I found out that um, my ex-partner had been running around with a nanny. My heart was broken. It was shattered. And as I looked through my notebooks, it's nice to read journals about where I was in this state of time. And very clearly in my journals, I went within hardcore, hardcore, and this is the only way to really get through it, babe. I did not get under somebody to get over somebody. That is such a myth. That is such a myth. You're literally creating more bonds with more people when you're trying to heal something. It won't work. So with that being said, I, I'm reading my journals and I'm really proud of myself because I see where I just keep asking for clarity, asking for clarity. I just keep giving it away, getting rid of those feelings, purging those feelings, purging the feelings of rejection, of abandonment. Um, I went really hardcore. Um, I just went really deep with my spirituality and I, I found random scraps of paper with, um, prayers with prayers and just, I just, the whole time I just sought clarity. God, give me the clarity. Higher self, give me the clarity. Give me the knowledge. I can't see. It's really dark. I can't see. I have night vision, but sometimes I just can't see. Give me direction, God. Show me. I, that's what I did. I can, I will never go back to the person I was before that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I can see on my path when things have gotten extremely difficult. Yes, it's nice to have human support, but you can't, you can't seek outside of yourself. You got to go within. <clears throat> And that's my superpower. People wonder, Steph, how are you so strong? People say, Steph, you're the strongest person I know. I am strong. I am strong. And how am I strong? Because I lean in to my spirituality. I lean in to my creator, source, God. I am not religious 100%. I am not religious. I am actually very irritated and bothered by traditional religion and dogmas. I understand their purpose. That's not my cup of tea. It, it won't be my cup of tea. How I heal myself is I go within. Hardcore. And right now, let me just make sure the mic's on. Good. Right now in my business, I speak like Italian or something. Right now in my personal life, I have human mentors in the 3D realm. But I have gotten the intuitive conviction. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have gotten the intuitive conviction, the intuitive urge to go within this is a very it's not dark in that sense this is really good stuff but <clears throat> excuse me when i say i'm in the dark i mostly mean this is a realm i don't know this is a realm i'm not very comfortable in the business realm 
it's not my first language. So when I say I'm navigating this in the dark, I meant that. There have been other times where I've been stuck in my own darkness. Depression, anxiety, fear, paranoia. And I had to navigate that with my night vision goggles and with my spiritual team because it was dark. That was also dark. This is dark in a sense of, I don't know where I'm going. (laughs) I'm literally in the void right now. Deep Space Nine, like I'm in the vortex and I've already put out a lot of my mental construct of what I've seen and what I've created, but I've gotten so far. And now I feel the conviction to hit the brakes. I'm not going to stop giving that momentum, but I'm going within and I'm getting back to my journal and I'm, I'm, I'm strengthening that connection with God, with my creator, with my spiritual team, with my higher self, whatever you want to call it. I'm headed that in that direction because it's dark and I can't see. So like in my journal, when I just go within and I, I, I don't shut out the noise of the world, but I lower the volume and I turn my volume up and I turn spirits volume up. So now I'm getting back to the basics, getting back into my spiritual routine because I've been in the masculine do, 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 go, go, go routine since I got back from North Carolina in March. Um, so I am um, I'm getting tight with God again. And I, I don't like it that it has to be this way, but currently in my life with the amount of resources I have, it's it's me. It's me doing it. In the future, I will be delegating. I will have employees. I will have assistants. I will have people doing that. But for right now, it's me wearing a billion hats. And the reason I know I need to take this break is because I just know, babe, like my physical body, my mental body, when I, my cat comes in and greets me. Hey, big guy. Good morning. Hey, the big guy. Um, I know the shift needs to happen because um, it's a feeling. When I feel a certain way and I don't feel like, okay, so I tell people this. When is it resistance and when is it persistence? My freaking gel things fell off. Resistance and persistence. You need to understand yourself and learn your own discernment because nobody else can tell you that. And often your path is your path. And when you get visions and when you get downloads, sometimes they don't look logical. They don't look rational. So when you try to speak to people about your vision, um, how do I, I give a visual, I'm trying to explain. Their frequency can't hold your vision. So they kind of lower, they okay, I understand they're trying to be practical, but sometimes you got to keep your stuff to yourself because, um, those minds can't comprehend and they're going to tell you things that aren't going to resonate with you. And this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's between you and God. And sometimes you got to tune other people out and be mindful and use discernment with those in which you share your message with and your vision and your mind. Be careful with who you share your mind with because not all can comprehend. And sometimes their noise distracts us and it might discourage us. I'm also there. So where I'm at is I'm going from business, 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 masculine business plans, market analysis, proposals, network, do, 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 do. I'm pulling it back. 
and I'm going to, um, I'm going to go within and then I'm going to fine tune. I'm going to start my third eye wants to play. I want to create like fine tune the vision. I feel like what's frustrating for me is on this process, it's been continuously like rebranding to find what exactly it is. And that's frustrating. But anyways, every single day, it's just getting closer and closer. Even though I think I hit it, it's whatever. So whatever, we're getting closer. And it's time to fine tune that vision. And that's where I'm going into the yin, not the yang. Y-A-N-J. Some people say yin yang, yin yang. Um, I'm fine tuning that in the yin state. So that's the feminine, receptive, nurturing, cool, calm, collected. I'm both. I tend to like to function better in the yang, if you haven't noticed. Haircut, like yang, yang, masculine, testosterone, activity, sunshine, do. So I'm creating from the vortex. It's fine. It's fine. It just, it's a process to slow down and stop to recalibrate. And that's like a five to five day to a week. Woo. That was cool. Five day to a week. Thank you, Archangel Raphael. Right on my heart. Yes, it's like a five day, uh, a week to a week and a half process for me to slow down and recalibrate. And it's a mental thing too. Listen, there's a glitch. There's a glitch in there that I'm working on. And the glitch is that slowing down and being in my yin can sometimes be equated with the how I was when I was depressed and low key. I think I have an aversion to that. I need to work on that because when I'm resting, my brain and body sometimes think, Oh no, she's getting depressed or she's depressed. So when I rest, I just really, I personally need to work on just fully resting, whatever I'm doing, I'm fully doing it. If I'm working, I'm fully working. If I'm resting, I'm fully resting. And I'm not feeling guilty about not working because then I'm not resting. Get it? All right. So that's a very long spiel, um, a ramble on me reading my journal and finding out that um, when things get tough, I, I go within. And creator source. My spirit team loves that. They love when I get close to them. And then when I get close to them, they're like, where you at? Where you been, babe? We're always here. But like when I'm building businesses and wearing multiple hats, like I will throw chocolate chips down my mouth to, to get the little bit of energy to keep writing the business plan. Like it's not that great, guys. I mean, I'm, it doesn't happen all the time. I'm just exaggerating. But like... When I'm really focused on my business, I'm not as focused on my body, mind, and spirit. Like, I, I can treat myself like a machine because I am a machine, but I just need to be a little bit more kind and a little bit more tender and nurture myself and also take care of myself. But taking care of myself is a 100% full-time job. Taking care of myself, like this mind, body, and spirit, boo, this is like so high maintenance. This machine right here, when it's functioning properly, like the amount of protein, the amount of produce, the amount of antioxidants, the freaking water, the freaking electrolytes working out, metabolism raises, got to get more food, like nutrient dense food, like plankton or what is that shit I get? Spirulina. So like, superfoods but that's a full-time job <clears throat> raising my kids is a full-time job raising my kids to eat healthy and get their sunshine and get their freaking exercise and get their 10 to 12 hours of sleep every night like 
protein and hydration and vitamins. Like that's a full-time job. Taking care of my house is a full-time job. Then you have my business stuff. I have a nonprofit, a for-profit, a couple brands. Like what's wrong with me? But at the end of the day, I need to master it. I need to master it all. And like I said, in the future, I will have more resources to pay people to do this. The house cleaner, the field, the food prepper, freaking chef, whatever, meal prepper. Um, but we're not there yet. So, and here's the root. Here's the root I've been really working on, y'all. Okay, so <clears throat> it's a false, it's a false belief. It's not true. It's not true. And I'm plucking that shit out because I can get into a mode where I just, yes, I hustle. I love to be in my passion. I love to follow my heart's desire. There's, there's a fine line because when are you doing it because you love it? And when are you doing it because you fear if you don't do it, you're not going to move forward. You're not going to get paid. That's the little false little thought in there that was like, um, if you sit down and rest today, mind you, this is not always fully conscious, y'all. It's not always conscious. And I want you to be aware of yourself too, because it might not be conscious. So if I'm not working on work, then I'm not going to get paid. That's the false belief. If I'm not working for something, especially in the future, I'm not going to get paid. And I think us entrepreneurs can fall into that trap. I get it. It's practical. It's realistic. But here's where I dip into the yin, into my spirituality, into quantum physics. And my beliefs. I trust the process. And I have burnt myself out. It's fine. It happens. It's literally part of the process, y'all. So I burnt myself out. How do I know I burnt myself out when I like have an aversion to work because I love work. I love following my heart's desire, but when I literally want to throw up looking at paperwork or it just won't go in because I have the ADDHDOFP, um, I have to take a step back. When my body and mind and spirit are not harmonized, I can tell. So, I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm headed into the yin side of entrepreneurship. And this is, this is the feminine. This is stuff that is not really talked about. And I don't really have like mentors. I'm just intuitively telling you how I feel. It's a man's world. It's business is very much built in patriarchy. And in the feminine, the feminine is the unseen. It's creation itself. So feminine is slow, receiving, dark, cool. I'm going into that void where all possibilities are infinite, infinite possibilities. I'm going there to get to the next step. There's times and places when both yin and yang are applicable the yang is the like practical action steps to get there the yin is like the vision it's like what i'm doing right now where i'm headed is going into that void with all possibilities i'm just going to get real clear on my vision i'm just going to get real clear on my vision and um I will take action steps to get there, the yang, but I'm going to be more yin. I'm going to be more present, nurturing to myself, nurturing to my children. And um, in doing so, I will draw to me that which I desire. I already wrote business plans. I already told God what I want. Now I'm going to fine tune it. Now I'm going to go by feeling because the universe, your God wants you to feel good. Your God wants you to express yourself to your full potential. Your God wants you to have all, all the uh, materials and resources that you desire. You got to be happy. 
And what I'm doing is I'm being happy with where I'm at. Because going back to the fear-driven model in which if I don't work today, money's not coming in. I'm going back to that thought and I'm also going back to the thought of why am I working so hard to get to my ranch in Mayaka? Like, yes, I want that and I want the stability, but I... I want to feel the feeling of feeling that stability. And what I've really realized was chasing that and overworking myself. Yes, I was following my desire, my heart's desire, my passion. Because, But when it became work and when I started to feel a certain way about it, and the thing is when I'm pushing towards something to fill a lack, the lack just keeps getting reaffirmed in my reality. So the lack kept getting reaffirmed because it's about my feeling. I'm going back to feeling good, feeling grateful for what I have. I, that feeling that I will feel in my ACA on the 50 acre farm, I can feel that now, believe it or not. I can feel the underlying feeling of feeling content and feeling like I have what I need in my current reality. It's all about perspective, babe, and I'm doing a perspective shift. And changing my perspective is going to change my reality and change my vantage point. I'm going to get closer to my heart's desire by just shifting my perspective, by going by how I feel and feeling grateful and being present in the present moment and being with my kids and being with myself and working on my my body, my energetic field, and just being grateful, going back to my affirmations, going back to my, my books and stuff like that. Just getting back to what I really like and just being in my body and feeling good. That's where I'm right now. And we're going to see what's going to happen because, um, I just really listen to my intuition and I listen to my heart and I listen to God and I position myself to open to receive in which this, what I'm doing right now, I'm going to position myself more to open and receive. And we'll go from there, babe. That's the rantings of my heart today in this post Capricorn full moon energy, sun and cancer moon and Capricorn. Thank you for being a part of my journey. Thank you for listening. I hope this helps you. I hope this gives you hope and renewal, knowing that you can also do the same. If you're persisting and persisting and persisting and doors are slamming in your face and you're feeling a certain way, And if you have to muster up that will to move forward, babe, maybe you should reevaluate things. I'm not saying no, stop, don't, don't stop forever, but maybe just perspective change, perspective shift. You'll have a holy shift. Because at the end of the day, creator, source, God wants you to feel content, wants you to feel happy without hurting anybody. Do that. All right. I love you guys. Take care. I'm feeling the processing coming on. All right. Love you. Bye. Wait, hold on. I'm going to post this on YouTube and on different platforms. If you resonate with this message, um, drop the little like heart thing, emoji. And... I don't know, prayer hands. All right, so like, share, subscribe if you're not on my channel. I'll talk to you soon. Love you.